We can use limit orders on Binance to trade at better prices. A limit order is just an instruction to the trading system to trade at or better than the price that you set. So we know a market order is just simply saying to the system, I want to buy Bitcoin. I want to buy $20 of Bitcoin. Whatever the price is, just give me that price. But with a limit order, what we're saying is, I only want you to trade as long as the price is at or better than this price that I give you. So on the buy side, what we're going to say is, I want you to trade and buy some Bitcoin, but my price right here, my limit price is going to be 41000 And you can trade immediately right now as long as the price is 41000 or lower. Because we're a buyer, anything underneath 41000 is a better price for us. So we can put in the amount. So I'm going to put $20 right here. And what we're saying is, if the price is 41000 or better for us, in this case below because we're a buyer, trade immediately. So what we're going to do is try this out. So we'll just press buy BTC like this and we haven't bought anything. Why haven't we bought anything? Well, our price that we set is 41000 the system obviously knows that the price of Bitcoin is 41,101 right now, which is above our limit price. So it cannot trade for us now because the price in the market is above our limit. So it will not trade for us. However, as you can see down here, we have open orders. This means that we have an order in the system working for us right now. If the price ever gets to our limit order, which is 41,000, it is there right in the order book and it's gonna trade for us at that level as long as there's a seller at 41,000 to meet our price. Right down here, you can see we've got the pair, so we're trading Bitcoin against USDT. Our price is 41,000, our amount right here. You can see the amount that's filled is zero and the total of the order that we'll get. We can also edit this. So what I'm gonna do is go to edit, and then we can just edit the price and the amount. So let's say we want to put it up to 41,050. And we can just keep the amount the same. We'll press confirm. Do you want to edit this? Confirm. Still not traded because our price is still below the current best price. So it's going to work there forever for us uh, at this price. If you put a limit order in that is worse than the current price in the market, this actually just turns your limit order into a market order at that point. Because what we're saying is, and I'll just delete this one, so we'll cancel this order. What we're saying is, buy a Bitcoin for me at 42,000. The price in the market is below this. So we're going to buy uh, $10 or $11 worth. And we're going to say, buy me Bitcoin at 42,000. Now, the price in the market is 41,126. So the price is better than our limit price. So we're going to press buy. And that is bought for us. You can see down here, we don't have an open order. The reason for that is we actually just bought Bitcoin because the instruction we're giving to the system is buy immediately as long as the price is at or below what I just told you. And the price was below. We just executed a market order and not a limit order. So what is important is that when you have uh, market orders on Binance, you can pay a, a taker fee. Make a taker fees relate to if you're using limit orders or not. If you're using a limit order and your order is away from the current price to your advantage, then you will go into the order book as a maker of liquidity. So if we're a buyer and we're down here, we're making liquidity. We're showing liquidity onto the order book. And so we're down here. And if someone trades with us, we've made the order and they take our order. So if you're a maker of liquidity, you pay a certain commission. And if you're a taker of liquidity, you pay a certain commission. On Binance, right now, this is exactly the same. However, if you trade larger amounts, you can see that makers of liquidity that show their orders away from the price actually get discounts on their trading fees. So just keep that in mind. If you always want to be a maker of liquidity and you always want to be on the order book below the current price when you're buying, you can use post only right here. Post only 
is like a little bit of insurance against what we just did, which was essentially put a market order in. Our price is way too high, right? That was a bad order, is way away from the current price. So what we can do with post only is that if you put in a bad order with a limit, so let's say we buy another $11 and we put 42,000 in, we are so far away from the current price that this is a just a bad order, right? Well, post only rejects our order if it can trade straight away. So what this does is it says, your order is gonna get filled immediately. I'm gonna reject what you just did because what you're telling me is you only want to put limit orders in that are away from the price and to your advantage. So what we're gonna do again is just press this by BTC. And what you can see just below my head here, there's a, a, a warning here and it says, the limit order could not be executed, we canceled your order. So this is a little bit of insurance to make sure you don't fat finger any trades and get a really bad deal. We can also use stop limit orders when we trade as well. This is a type of limit order, but we actually have another type of order on top. So what we can do is go to stop limit. And what you'll see is with a limit order, we have the price that we trade and the amount that we want to trade. When we click stop limit, you can see another box comes up. So we now know what limit orders are. That is an order in the system to trade at or away from a specific price. If you're on the buy side, that's at or below. If you're on the sell side, it's at or above, right? So that's the limit order. And that is the order that we're gonna put in right now. But there's also something called stop. This is also known as a trigger order. This is where you tell the system to enter a limit order for us, but only at a specific trigger price does that limit order get entered? So we know what a limit order is. We're telling the system, go and do something at or away from the price that I set. With a stop, what you're saying is, this limit order, only enter it at the price that I tell you. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sell some Bitcoin and we're gonna put a stop in. Our stop loss is 20,000. And then we're gonna put a limit of 20,000. So what we're saying here is sell Bitcoin and enter a limit order at 20,000 or better, but only enter that order when the trigger stop price is activated. So we have a $20,000 limit order here for BTC to sell, but we're not going to put it in now. The only time we put it in is when this trigger price is set. And we're just gonna sell $15 worth of BTC. Why would we wanna do this? Well, if you put a limit order in right now for 20,000, the instruction is sell immediately at or better than my limit price. Well, the price now is 40,000 plus. We're saying we wanna sell Bitcoin at 20,000. Why would we do that? Well, the system is gonna trade straight away immediately if we put in a limit order right? Especially if we don't have post only on. Well, the trigger is saying that limit's there, but it only enters the system as an order at 20,000. Why do this? This is used as a stop loss. So many people that are in, in a trade right here, they're fine having a small loss, but if the loss gets too large, that's when they want to stop themselves out and actually trade for a loss at that point. But they don't wanna trade right now, they're happy with maybe losing a little bit right now, or maybe they're in a little bit of profit, and they wanna let the trade run out, so they don't wanna trade right now, but it's a bit of insurance as an order to say, if the price gets down here, I'm gonna be losing a fair amount, and I don't wanna lose even more, so that's when I wanna put a limit order in, right? So that's what the stop is, it's a trigger to say, only below the current price, if you're selling right here, if we get to 20,000, put in a limit order for me at 20,000 to sell, and I wanna sell $15. So I'm gonna press sell BTC, and we can see that here. I'm just gonna press continue. And what you should see is we have the stop limit in right now. So we have this order here, which is sell Bitcoin at 20,000, and that is our limit order. Of course, it isn't uh, trading yet because we have a stop limit. So this limit only goes in when the trigger price is met, which is 20,000. And so we're not there yet. And so this is like insurance to say, if the price get, does get down here, we'll take our loss 
and we won't get any more losses if the price price continues to go down further. So that's a trigger order or a stop order where you can use a limit and that is often used for a stop loss to the downside to stop any further losses. I have 300 more videos like this as part of the crypto investor course you can get set up in crypto and trading check the link below for the details. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.